In this video, we will look at applications of box and whisker plots. In particular, how to make a box and whisker, whisker plot with our calculators. So if you want to make a box and whisker plot, you need a set of data. And we have some to work with right here, some numbers. So what we're going to do is go into stat and enter the data into a list. We only need one list, so if we have anything there, we can clear it out, or we could have used a new list if we prefer. So the first step is to enter in all of the data. So start with 50, 45, and then 51, 56, and so on. Now, it doesn't matter if the data is in order. You don't need to reorder it first because the calculator will be able to deal with it out of order. Once you have all of your data entered in, we need to tell the calculator what type of graph we want. So go into stat plot, so click second y equals. See I have plot one is on, but it's set for a histogram. So I need to select that and scroll over so that I can select my box and whisker plot, which is right here. And once you have that highlighted, you see it switches over to there, so now we're set for that. Now the next thing we want to do is make sure our window is set correctly. Now for a box and whisker plot, what the thing that really matters is your x values because y is sort of irrelevant. So you want to make sure that the x values are in the correct range. So these numbers are all between 40 and 60. Okay. So that means I could make my x min 40 and my x max 60. I could make it a bigger range if I wanted, but the important thing is that it at least includes those numbers. I'm going to scale by ones in this case. And once I have that set up, I can go into my graph. And there I have it, a box and whisker plot. And if I want to figure out what the numbers are, I can click trace and figure out those key numbers. It even tells me that middle part right there, that's the median is 52. I can scroll over and see Q1, which is the median of the first half is 49. And I can see my minimum is 45 and going in the other direction. So I'm still on trace. I have my max is 57 and my Q3, which is the median of the second half of data, is 55. So using your calculator to make a box and whisker plot is a nice way to do it, especially if you have a lot of data, because then you don't have to take the time to reorder it yourself or do all those calculations. The calculator can do it, and you, can just, you just have to spend the time inputting the data, and that's about it. And then you can analyze everything using the calculator.